recursion so this is the topic of today's lecture we are going to look at what's called as recursion or recursive functions functions which call itself that's recursive functions we have seen till now so we have seen how to define functions and how to make how to call functions these are the things we have already seen right and today we are going to look at a special case of functions which are called as recursive functions which call itself <coughs> and it's it's has got a it, it's a very fundamental idea in computer science it comes up in various uh, this notion of a recursive uh, function or uh, uh, recursion etc these are the very very fundamental idea in computer science and it's going to come up in a uh, lot of other courses it comes up in mathematics as mathematical induction uh, it will come up in your logic course as um, inductive definitions it will come up in your algorithm course because there is there is going to be a lot of algorithms which are going to be written uh, in a recursive uh, way <coughs> um, it's and uh, it, it it's it's going to be in your automata theory course uh, because it's i mean uh, the grammars are going to be uh, defined inductively so <coughs> so in all all these ways or so, so in that uh, recursion is basically it's it's going to be there in all your fields of computer science uh, so so this is a very important topic which you need to understand that's one thing and if you are going for a job placement or you going for higher studies etc this is the first thing everyone is going to test you tell him i am from computer science they are going to test whether you know recursion if i am an interviewer i would be testing first uh, for recursion and like the interview proceeds further only if he can he or she can uh, ex i mean can answer some question I, uh, you ask in the uh, about recursion okay so this is a very fundamental uh, topic and that's what we are going to look at today <coughs> so uh, what is a recursive function we are trying to say a recursive function is a function which is going to call itself right and so let me uh, consider the following problem so i am going to give you a problem right now and then we write a recursive function uh, to solve that problem right so the problem we are going to see so the the the, the first problem people always see um, uh, in in a recursion class is basically what is called as um, the factorial problem so that is you are given a number n you you are interested in finding out n factorial and what is n factorial n factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 up to n okay so the product of all numbers from 1 to n is called as n factorial and now you need to write a function which basically outputs n factorial and you need to write it in a recursive uh, you need to write a recursive function which outputs n factorial <coughs> okay so uh, a recursive function consists of two parts so whenever you write a recursive function you need to see it it should have two parts first part as i would call it the first part i would call it as a base case part and the second part will be the recursive step every recursive function you write should have both these parts and if either one of them is uh not present you have not written a recursive function or there's something wrong you are wrong so so every recursive function should have both these parts now what is the base case part the base case part is basically telling you what should the output be when your input is this in the, is the simplest form okay the easiest input what do we do for the easiest input for the simplest input so for an input which we know for sure what the answer is so that's going to be usually the base case part okay <clears throat> and the recursive step is the part the block of code where you are going to call this function recursively again okay so 
it, so both these parts should satisfy certain conditions which we will see uh, later so okay now to summarize every recursive function should have these two parts base case and uh, recursive step okay now the next thing we are going to do is i'm going to write a function a recursive function for computing n factorial so i'm going to call it factorial function so i can call it function factorial okay what should uh, the input of this function be so as we know for the for factorial what we uh, we take a number n and outputs n factorial right so the input should be an integer n okay and what should its output be output as n factorial and, and output should uh, we have to in c syntax we have to write the the type of output what is the type of output here the type is also going to be integer so we have to write int so the function name is func underscore factorial okay <coughs> so the return type is int and the input uh, the the function takes as parameter an integer n okay now uh, next step is the function body the body of the function what does it contain so we have to see there are two parts uh, every recursive function should have two parts the base case and the recursive step right so i'm going to write the base case first and then i'll write the recursive step now the base case first what is the base case what is the simplest case for the factorial <coughs> so simplest case for factorial is zero factorial what is zero factorial zero factorial is 1 okay right now so that's the base case now so i have to write if n is equal to equal to 0 return 1 that is if the base case is your input you are going to return 1 okay because that zero factorial is 1 you are going to return 1 right so uh, let me just write here the as a comment what does this function do because this is something you have to write whenever you write a function you need to write what the, what this function does what does this function do the function takes as input so the function takes as input an integer n and outputs its factorial output in the here means it returns a fact its factorial okay so uh, <clears throat> so we have to keep in mind that whenever i return the return has to be correct right so when when the input is zero i have returned one because zero factorial is one and therefore this is correct thing. now what is the next thing um, we are interested in next thing we are interested in is the recursive step <clears throat> okay so this is basically my base case so this is my base case okay and now my recursive step what is my recursive step going to be so in the recursive step this is the, so the idea behind thinking recursion is the following you have to see the following you have to think around these lines okay if i know the if i know the solution to a simpler problem or a sim simpler instance of the same problem can i answer this question that is if i know the factorial for a smaller number can i answer fact factorial for n that's the way you you, sh you should think for recursion okay so you're going to think if i know factorial for a smaller number can i write factorial for n it's clearly that if i know the factorial for n minus 1 i can write the factorial for n right because the factorial for n minus 1 is n minus 1 factorial and n factorial is n into n minus 1 factorial so i just i once i know that logic it's now uh, going to be clear so i can write so this is how i'll write i'll write x is equal to um function factorial n minus 1 
right so if i know the factorial for n minus 1 and my which is n minus 1 factorial then how can i output the factorial of n so what is it that is n into this x right so i have to return so i return okay is this clear <coughs> so what i did here is that in the recursive step i have identified a smaller problem okay the smaller problem is the factorial for n minus 1 a smaller instance of the problem and then i took the output of that the return of that i took its answer and i built the solution for the bigger problem of n so that's how you think about recursion and this is my <coughs> recursive step okay <coughs> so all my uh, function uh, all my recursive functions will contain these two parts the base case and the recursive step now there can be uh, now okay uh, it can happen that the, so right now in this function the base case is just one line of code i just checked whether n is equal to 0 so that n is equal to 0 is the only base case here but it in that that need not be the case always you could have a base case where there are multiple values n could be uh, not just 0 i can also check for n is equal to 1 or n equal to 2 etc so the base case can be of uh, for multiple values okay so uh, for example i could have had here uh, I could have written here the following extra condition also if n is equal to 1 if I return this this is also part of the base case okay <coughs> uh, this is also correct because one factorial is also one right but this is an irrelevant base case even if I add this uh, base case it does not affect my correctness or uh, I mean, uh, my function is still correct right but this is unnecessary but let it be there uh, for our time being because it's not wrong okay so uh, so so uh, I, so the point i was trying to make is that base case can have multiple lines okay multiple conditions can be part of the base case so these two parts so this is also base case similarly the recursive step can also have multiple parts okay so the recursion we are seeing right now is called as this is called as linear recursion first of all why is it recursion because there is a recursive step where i call the same function factorial again that's why it's recursion and it's called linear recursion because i called it exactly once that's why it's linear recursion but i could have called it multiple times if i call it two times it would be called as binary recursion <coughs> Uh, so linear recursion because the recursive call exactly one I could have had binary recursion so where the recursive call is exactly twice okay so i will have two lines like a function factorial okay two times i call that then it becomes binary recursion or i could it could be more okay or uh, multiple re recursion where i call it multiple times where i call the function uh, a factorial multiple times not just once not just twice it can be more okay so first so uh, this function which we have written basically it is linear recursion the factorial does linear recursion <coughs> 